As Melissa, my life took an unexpected turn when I decided to volunteer, dismissing my friends' warnings about becoming a demure housefrau. Despite their skepticism, my patriotic duty led me to the fountains of femininity, where I embraced a profound transformation. Now, at 25, I navigate my days as a gorgeous woman with a history as a man hidden in the recesses of my mind. My motivations for this change run deeper than mere duty, I always sensed my true identity as a woman. The opportunity to align my external self with my internal truth was irresistible, and the authorities deemed me highly suitable for the transformation. Now ensconced in my role as a devoted housefrau and cute trophy wife, I find contentment in fulfilling my husband's desires. Though I've been subtly shaped by their training, I retain my own thoughts, often subtly guiding my husband's preferences to align with my own. While some may see me as a demure wife, beneath the surface, I revel in the balance of pleasing my husband and maintaining a quiet independence. Any regrets? None at all. The process of becoming a woman was part of a unique program tailored for those who, like me, felt an inherent femininity despite being assigned male at birth. The authorities recognized this aspect of my identity, categorizing me as suitable for their transformative program designed specifically for feminine boys. The fountains of femininity became the conduit for my metamorphosis, as I willingly embraced the journey to align my external appearance with my authentic self. The program included not just physical changes but also a psychological transformation, subtly shaping my thoughts and behaviors to fit the role they envisioned for me. As Melissa, I found myself navigating a world that was both familiar and radically different. The dichotomy between my past as a man and my present as a woman added complexity to my identity. Yet, the satisfaction of living authentically overshadowed any lingering doubts. While I may wear the mantle of a demure housefrau and a cute trophy wife, the essence of who I am remained intact. Behind the facade, I continued to harbor my own thoughts and subtly guided situations to align with my inclinations. The program may have intended to mold me into a specific role, but my ability to retain a sense of self allowed me to navigate the fine line between compliance and independence. With my transformed identity, my thought processes evolved, centering around notions of beauty and the desire to present myself in a pleasing manner for my husband. The program not only sculpted my physical appearance but also rewired my brain, instilling a deep sense of fulfillment in maintaining an aesthetically pleasing and well-kept home. The concept of beauty became a guiding force in my daily life. Whether choosing attire or arranging the décor, my focus shifted towards creating an environment that would delight my husband's senses. The satisfaction derived from looking good extended beyond personal grooming, it permeated into every aspect of my surroundings. The tasks of cleaning the house and doing laundry took on new significance, not merely as chores but as expressions of devotion. Each meticulously arranged room and every freshly laundered item became a testament to my commitment to creating a harmonious and visually appealing space for my husband. In this transformed mindset, the act of homemaking transcended societal expectations and became a source of genuine joy. My efforts to please my husband through a well-maintained home were not driven by obligation but rather by a sincere desire to contribute to our shared life. As Melissa, the once hidden desire to be a demure housefrau found fulfillment in these daily rituals. While I devoted myself to creating a beautiful home, I still maintained a subtle influence over the choices, ensuring that my personal touch and preferences were woven into the fabric of our shared space. 